Guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, especially if you love college football and the NFL as much as I do. Um, A lot of people are saying J.J. McCarthy might be a big bust, is overrated, not very good. Y'all know I like Michigan, but as you can see, I don't have my Michigan jersey on. So, from, so right now, I'm talking completely from a football fan perspective point of view from that point of view i'm not talking as a michigan fan um and yes i'm and i did look at his film and all that but again i'm not judging based off of the fact that he won a lot of games won a championship that, that has nothing to do with his skill set and what i believe he can do as a football player um now let's say what is true true he did have a few games where he threw like two or three picks he did have a few of those games that's true he also had a good offensive line to help him out True, and it's true he also had running backs to help him out and a great championship defense. All that's true, but you've also seen Bryce Young at Alabama. You see C.J. Stroud with Ohio State. Similar stories. Now, with C.J. Stroud, obviously Ohio State's defense was never great, but still, Ohio State had great athletes. Michigan had great athletes, and he knew what to do with them. J.J. McCarthy, no different. And what I liked about J.J. McCarthy was... Um, he did cost him with TCU, but he learned from that. He grew and he matured, you know, and I think he's going to have a great career because great third down passing, obviously he knows how to trust his offensive line and stay in the pocket to deliver some big throws on third down, even fourth down. Um, if you look this past year, Michigan, when they played Ohio state, who had a really good defense this past year, he was able to convert fourth down once or twice through the air. Okay, and even third down passing was really good, and he knew when to take off and run. All right, he was able, he was trusted in in trick plays too, throwing it to some to a receiver, get the ball passed back to him, and make a big play downfield. And what I liked was, and here's the thing, people overlook the fact that the Rose Bowl, he's a big reason why they won that game. They drove down the field because of his passing. Now, I know Blake Corum basically won in overtime, and Michigan's defense did, but to put them there, you have to have good play from your quarterback. I love that fourth down call that they had when they're on their own side of the field. You're in a position where you should punt the football, but he didn't flinch. He didn't get scared. He didn't care that this was basically it for them. And I know Blake Corum ran basically in the flat and got wide open, but to have the composure and the ability to understand, okay, I don't care if it's fourth down. I don't care if we're down by a touchdown. I don't care if it's the late fourth quarter. We're going to get this because we just are, and that's what it's going to be. So he does have that confidence. He, that confidence. he does have that swagger. He does have the elements that make him a great quarterback. So, look, I'm not saying he's going to go right into Minnesota and win a Super Bowl right away or win 100 Super Bowls. That's not what I'm saying at all. But what I'm saying is he has all the ingredients to be a winning quarterback, to be a championship quarterback. And I do think he's going to do a lot at the uh, NFL, whether it's Minnesota or anywhere he goes. And uh, Yeah, great. Like any other quarterback that has a good offensive line, yeah, they're going to do well. But still, he knew what to do with it. He Remember, he was not supposed to be the starting quarterback to start 2022. That's when he took over for Cade McNamara. He had to go to another college because McCarthy took his cookie. Okay, so again, and I remember when the TCU game, he was cocky, ran his mouth a lot. Even during the game when they were down, he looked back at his parents and said, we're going to win the game, and mouthing like that. You can't do that. But clearly he got better from that. He grew from that. And he grew from that. He matured. And I do believe he's ready for the NFL. I don't see any reason why he's not, you know. And yeah, just like anybody else, he's going to need great playmakers around him. Anybody does. But he's somebody that I believe when he gets them, he'll know what to do. And as far as being the greatest quarterback in Michigan history, I'm not going to say anything about that. Because, again, this is not from a Michigan fan's perspective. This is a football fan's perspective. So, yeah, I do think he's going to be great. I don't see any reason why he's a boom. I mean, excuse me, why he's a bust. I'm sorry. But, yeah, he's going to do just fine.